Hi friends, there is a notification, employment notification from Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI. Uh, there is a recruitment for uh, officer grade A, assistant manager in the streams of general stream, legal stream, information technology stream, research stream and official language stream 2022. So as you know, uh, Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI is a statutory body to protect the in interests of investors in securities and to promote and development and to regulate the securities market. So it, it is like a, uh, uh, what, what they say, a regulatory body like. <clears throat> now coming to the dates, important dates that you have to remember. Online application and payment of free online activity. The important dates are something like this. The online application and payment of free online will start from January 5th, 2022 to January 24th, 2022. Uh, availability of call letters on SEVI website for online application, they will be intimated by e email or SMS. That means you should have a working email, valid email and a working phone number also. Now phase 1 online uh, examination will be conducted on February 20th, 20th 20, 2022 and phase 2 online examination except paper 2 uh, of information technology, it will be conducted on a separate date. So phase 2 online examination except IT stream will be conducted on March 20th and phase 2 of paper 2 of phase 2 of IT stream will be conducted on April 3rd. So phase 3 interview that means phase 3 that is interview their dates will be intimated later right. Now coming to the stream and their number of posts available and what is their education qualification we will have a look at these things. So for general stream the total number of posts are 80 total number of posts that means including unreserved OBC, SC, ST, EWS everything. So total number of posts are 80 and the education qualification is something like this master's degree in any discipline, bachelor's degree in law, bachelor's degree in engineering from a recognized university or CA, CFA, CS, CW, they are also eligible for this. So clearly in the notification you have got all the reservation details that you can go through when you download the uh, notification. Coming to legal stream, the total number of posts are 16 in number. So, the education qualification is bachelor's degree in law from a recognized university or institute. So, in IT stream, uh, the total number of posts are taken as 12. The uh, qualification is bachelor's degree in engineering, electrical, electronics, electronics and communication that means EC, information technology, computer science or masters in computer applications, M MCA or bachelor's degree in any discipline with a postgraduate qualification that means PG qualification minimum 2 years duration in computers and information and technology. So this is the uh, eligibility that is given for IT stream. So coming to research stream, there are six posts, master degree in statistics, uh, PG degree, master's degree in statistics, economics, commerce, business, administration, finance, econometrics from a recognized university uh, or institute. Now official language, the total number of posts are only three, uh, master's degree in Hindi uh, with English as one of the subjects at bachelor degree level or master's degree in Sanskrit. Uh, English like MA English, MA Sanskrit, something like that, MA Hindi and Economics Commerce with Hindi as a subject. So you can have also a PhD degree in Economics and Commerce with Hindi as a subject at bachelor's degree level from a recognized university or institute. So if you have a uh, bachelor degree in Commerce, uh, if you have uh, a master's degree in Economics at Hindi at bachelor's levels, you should have Hindi as a subject at bachelor's degree. Now that is the situation. Now age limit, the cutoff date is uh, 31 December 2021 they have taken. The cutoff uh, date is some, uh, the age limit is something like this. A candidate must not have exceeded a age of 30 years as on December 31st 2021. Candidate must, be, must have been born on or after January 1st 1992. <laughs> okay. So this is the age limit they have given. So as on December 31st 2021, he should not, he should not exceed the age of 30 years. Uh, so he must have been born or after January 1st 1992 after the date he should be born. So remaining all the age relaxations for SCST and uh, OBC uh, th they are given in the notification and ex servicemen etc etc and everything they have given ex servicemen OBC layer non creamy layer they are also given uh, some categories. <coughs> Yeah, OBC, OBC non-creamy layer. Here OBC who belong to creamy layer are not 
entitled to apply under OBC category. Only non-creamy layer are eligible to apply under OBC category. That is anyway, most of the people know this. Okay. Now coming to the mode of selection. Uh, mode of selection shall be a three stage process. Phase one is an online screening examination consisting of two papers. In phase one, you will have two papers, 100 marks each. Phase two online examination consisting of two papers. That is also 100 marks each. In phase one, you will have two papers. In phase two also, you will have two, fa two papers. Phase three is nothing but interview. Coming to phase one online examination, an online screening consisting of two papers, multiple choice questions, 100 marks each will be held. This, this already I said this is going to be held on February 20th, 2022. So in paper one, phase one, paper one, all streams, multiple choice questions on the subjects like general awareness, including some questions related to finance sector of easy to moderate difficulty level, English language, quantitative aptitude and test of reasoning will be there. Reasoning and apt will be there. Maximum marks is 100. Duration is 60 minutes and cutoff is 30 percentage. 30 percentage is compulsory. Uh, so now paper two coming to phase one, paper two in general stream. So because there are some streams here. In general stream, the paper 1 is common for all the streams. Now coming to paper 2, general stream, multiple choice questions on subjects like commerce, accountancy, management, finance, costing, companies, act and economics. Maximum marks are 100. Duration is 40 minutes and cutoff is 40 percentage. Now in paper 2 only, for the streams like legal, information technology, official language stream, multiple choice questions on specialized subject related to stream. Coming to research stream, multiple choice questions on subjects like economics, econometrics, statistics, finance and commerce, etc. So 100 maximum marks are 100, 40 minutes is the duration and 40 percentage is the cutoff. Whereas there is an aggregate cutoff that means including paper 1 and paper 2 that is 40 percentage. Aggregate, percent, aggregate cutoff is uh, 40 percentage but the individual cutoff is compulsorily you should be getting average aggregate is okay that, that is compulsory in that also. Paper 1 you should be getting 30 percentage, paper 2 you should be getting 40 percentage. So that is also be that will also be, be checked. So there shall be there is a negative marking also 1 by 4 is the negative marking for paper 1 for each question for, for every one mark uh, the, uh, 1 by 4 is a negative mark assigned to the question for paper 1 and paper 2 in phase 1. And uh, there shall be a cutoff already they told us there shall be a cutoff of minimum 30 percentage for paper 1. No sectional cutoff will be there. Uh, that means for the cutoff is for paper, so not for section wise in inside the paper. So no, no sectional cutoff will be there, and a cutoff of minimum 40 percentage in paper two in phase one. Candidates would need to secure a separate cutoff in each paper, as mentioned above, as well as the aggregate cutoff of 40 marks in phase one exam to be shortlisted for phase two. Marks obtained in phase one shall be used for shortlisting the candidates for phase 2 examination process and will not be counted for final selection. Friends, this phase 1, whatever the paper 1 and 2, uh, paper wise cutoff and aggregate cutoff you selected, this paper uh, 1 and 1, 2 of phase 1, the, this, uh, these marks are calculated only to give you entrance to phase 2 exam. So this phase 1 marks will not be counted for the final selection. So this is to make you an entry. Uh, this phase 1 is going to give an entry for phase 2. After going into phase 2, uh, you need not uh, care about this phase 1 marks. So it is going for phase 2 only. Subject to criteria, all the candidates who clear phase 1 will be shall be shortlisted to phase 2. List of candidates shortlisted for phase 2 will be made available on SEBI website. Okay, So clearly they are telling that phase 1 exam, phase 1 marks are only to uh, bring you to phase 2 only. Now coming to phase 2. Uh, as on online examination, here also there will be two papers for 100 marks each and this exam will be held on March 20th, 2022 except paper 2 IT stream paper that will be conducted separately and uh, in phase 2 paper 1 and paper 2 both are there anyway we know paper 1 is for all streams mm, paper 1 English descriptive test will be there and drafting skills also will be there maximum marks are 100 okay next uh, in 60 minutes is the duration time cutoff is 30 percentage cutoff percentage 30 percent weightage is one third and uh, paper two coming to paper two stream wise i am reading out for general stream like mcq questions on commerce accountancy management finance costing companies act and economics maximum marks are 100 40 minutes is the time duration cutoff is 40 percentage two thirds is the weightage now paper two legal and official language stream multiple choice questions on specialized subject related to stream 
and research stream multiple choice questions on subjects like economics econometrics statistics finance and commerce so 100 marks are given to you here 40 minutes is the duration 40 percentage is the cutoff and two third is the weightage information technology stream coding test languages that is for separate anyway it will be conducted separate but that is also given here it stream coding test languages like c plus plus java python python is also there which is basically an ai based tool so 100 uh, marks maximum marks 180 minutes are given for this 180 minutes means three hours actually that's a pretty good, long time and cutoff is 40 percentage and weightage is uh, two third so aggregate cutoff so that means this cutoff should be paper wise you should uh, you should uh, have this cu cutoff here stream wise cutoff is also there if you see stream wise cut in paper one stream wise cutoff is not there it is only paper wise cutoff but here in every paper stream wise cutoff is also there so clearly uh, <coughs> in paper in uh, paper one agri paper one you have got uh, cutoff 30 percentage in paper two uh, for stream wise there is separate separate cutoff is there okay anyway the aggregate cutoff is the aggregate cutoff is 50 percentage so that's a pretty high cutoff uh, cutoff is 50 percentage now my dear friends paper 2 paper 2 of phase 2 of information technology stream it stream shall be held separately on april 3rd that is already mentioned so for candidates who have applied in multiple streams those people who are uh, eligible for multiple streams so he is not telling that one one person should apply for one stream only that is a good news actually for candidates who have applied in multiple streams paper 2 will be conducted in various shifts the timing of which will be intimated in the hall ticket Paper 2 of IT stream shall be separately conducted on April 3rd. Okay. Now, here also there is a negative marking of 1 by 4 marks assigned to the question in phase 2 examination also. Now, service conditions and allowances like probation, etc. We will see. Probation is for uh, 2 years. The successful candidates recruited for the post of officer grade A shall undergo probation of 2 years. 2 years is the probation period. The candidate shall be confirmed. Uh, in the services of SEBI subject to their satisfactory performance uh, of the after the probation they will be taking to you in the permanent service pay will be pre-revised pay scale of officer grade A is it will start from 28,150 rupees is the starting and it can go up to 55,600 rupees depending on the conditions now some other benefits like uh, leave fare concession medical expenses high refraction education allowances financial dailies book grant, briefcase, conveyance, expenses, house cleaning elements, staff furnishing scheme, scheme for purchasing computers, subsidized lunch facility and all other benefits are admissible to an officer in grade A in SEBI. Now friends, accommodation, residential accommodation would be provided subject to availability that is. Posting, the incumbent uh, may be posted, he can, po he can be posted anywhere in India. So you, the people who have selected have no right to choose the location, they can be the recruited officers may be posted to any department of SEBI irrespective of the stream. Okay, some examination centers are also there. You can select your nearest center when you download the notification. Okay, now application fee. Let us go to the application fee. For unreserved candidates and OBCs and EWS candidates, those who belong to that categories, 1000 rupees is the application fee and come, uh, application fee come intimation charges. Now for uh, category like SC, ST, physically disabled, uh, 100 rupees is uh, as intimation charges okay separate online uh, application for each stream if you are applying for multiple streams you have to apply for each stream separately right now coming to how to apply uh, there is a brief uh, introduction i'll be i'll be giving you regarding the application procedure so candidates who are required to apply online through website uh, you go to www.sebi.gov.in from January 5th uh, to January 24th, 2022 and no other mode of application will be accepted. Candidates need not submit the system generation, system generated printout of the online application to SEBI office. So you need not send any uh, application by post or something. So you should apply everything through online only. Okay. Now uh, the detailed guidelines. Uh, the application registration payment of fee up uploading of photographs so there are so many things but before go, uh, that you can see when you download the notification but before applying online uh, this careful step should be taken you you should have a scan of photograph of yours 
and signature ensuring that both of the photograph and signature adhere to required specifications as given under guidelines for uploading of photograph and signature scan so like left hand thumb impression your photo signature so how to apply and uh, all these things are given in the notification so these are some important uh, uh, points that i told you regarding this uh, sebi notification so i request you uh, to download the full notification and take a print out of it go go through the notification thoroughly and uh, go through the full notification thoroughly and if you are eligible and interested to apply for this post don't miss the opportunity thank you